Hi my family and welcome to my video. I want to apologize for not being here for over a month now and the reason is that the January was a very tough month for me. I was sick, my family was sick, my children, everything just went wrong and my father got sick, he had to do a heart operation and it was a very tough month. February, February also started tough. So this is this year is working against me but I finally have some um, energy to film because I've been missing you a lot. I've been missing putting my videos up and uh, editing them. So I'm here and I'm very excited because today I am going to compare Blendiful, Blendiful with a makeup remover uh, towel or, or makeup eraser. If you want to see that, then please keep on watching. So guys, when I saw this video first, the, the release of this product, I immediately thought of something like this. This is the puff from Linda Halberg that I love and use all the time. It's very, very, I love it. But I've seen that the texture, though it's just almost, it's not the same size, but almost the same shape. I've seen this and this reminded me of a makeup remover towel. And I went to my makeup remover towels and I've seen that it's almost the same, what it's called, material. Now, this is as a, looks more as a puff and it has um, like sponge in it. This, these, let me open one of these. These don't have that. They're just like a towels. Let's open it. Um, it this one doesn't have like that. But the material is almost identical. Now this will be easier to use for applying foundation because it has like a sponge, but I really want to see if this can do the same trick. So if you're interested, I'm going to do like half face using all of the products with this one and half face with this one. I have one more if I need, but we'll see. I have on my other that I've been using a lot that it's a little bit bigger than this one, but I can't find it anyway. And I thought the new one would be just better because this one is new and used so let's start i'm very curious to see how this is going to work when i saw this i was like okay it's a puff but when tati continued um, talking about this and uh, how amazing it is i was definitely um, fast to order it as soon as it launched so it's been sitting here for a long time and i just didn't use it okay i'm going to apply the primer with my fingers because I remember her ta talking about in the video that you can use the blend Blendiful but um, she wants to have more control how much she uses on the face. I'm going to just use this all over my face and then I'm going to use the puff and the makeup eraser to apply the tart in on my T-zone. Tart primer. I can see that it's been weeks since I filmed because I forgot how to act in front of a camera. So I'm going to use this uh, Timeless Smoothing Primer and I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use the puff on this side and I'm going to use like a to use it and apply a small amount. I'm using my Jeffree Star and just press it in. looks very nice I mean feels soft feels like it I have some glitter on since yesterday on the face but it looks nice let's go with the makeup eraser and apply primer on the other side see how that is going to work so I'm going to use this is harder to hold Small amount here. Also feels like it applied the primer pretty good. I have sparkle glitter everywhere. You can probably hear rain and the wind outside. It's very stormy, very stormy. I'm going to use the Bonnie Sway foundation. I'm going to put some foundation back on my hand so 
we can kind of use it from here. And let's go in with the puff. I'm going to use the same size as you use for the primer. Oh, let's see. I don't know how to apply it. I'm dotting and I'm kind of, I don't know, moving it around. It applies very nice. I mean, it feels very soft. I don't know really, um, it feels strange applying foundation with this puff, or it's not a puff, it's a blendiful, blendiful. It feels very soft, it looks very nice and I can see what, what Tati was talking about, but I feel like I applied a little bit too much of the foundation and it doesn't look streaky, but I kind of like how it applied foundation. It looks very nice. It was very easy and very fast. It feels very nice. I did apply a lot of foundation, but it doesn't look like I have a plenty of foundation. It looks nice. I like it. I don't know how it looks on my nose though. I'm not really happy about it, but it doesn't look bad. Let's, uh, I need to apply a little bit more foundation because I feel like I use a lot. And I'm going to go in with the makeup eraser. And this one is also, I'm going to use it like this. <laughs> Maybe this will be a mistake, but let's see if this is a mistake or not because this is supposed to erase your makeup, not apply it. It's not as soft as the blended food, it's because it doesn't have like a sponge. Let's go in on the forehead and see how it's going to apply. I don't know. It doesn't feel the same. This is kind of streaky. Not only streaky, but it has some texture. It feels, you know, when you use a brush, you can see by brush and you can see brush strokes. This, you can see like texture from this, this uh, makeup eraser. No, I don't like how this is applying the foundation at all. It's patchy, it's uneven, doesn't look good. But I'm going to go in and use this to correct because um, I need my face to look nice. So makeup eraser to apply the foundation, maybe not the best. It kind of leaves, leaves the streaks from, but it looks almost the same. Maybe this sponge stick has something to do with it. I don't know. Let's go in with the concealer. I'm going to use Start Shape Tape. Just a little bit, not too much. And I'm going to use this side where I had the foundation. Let's go in. Okay. Nice. I went a little bit too high up with the concealer. Why? Why? I mean, it feels like you need to learn how to use this product, but I like it. I like how it applied the concealer too. Very nice. I really like how it applied the concealer. Really, really nice. Smoothed out everything. Looks nice. Looks kind of strange here on the nose though. I think we fixed it. Not bad. Let's go in with this and I'm going to use another side. Yeah. 
if I pull, it looks tricky. If I dab like this, it leaves the texture. But I didn't want to do you do like a usual try on with this um, blended food because I've seen so many people trying and using it all over the face. And I just wanted to do a little bit different video. And I really thought this would... No, I like this. I like how it disapplied the concealer. Impressed. Let's use the powder. We're going to use uh, the Nikia Joyce powder. Put some and oh, a little bit too much, don't you think? I need to set this before it starts moving around. So I'm going to take away the creases. And then we're going to switch and use the other side. Use the powder. I love using puffs to set my face. And that's how I use this one from Linda Halberg all the time. Ooh, this filled in my pores and everything looks very, very nice. Love it for the powder. Love, love, love. You can see, still see my glitter here. And this powder is amazing. I really like it. Nice like, a big like. Let's remove the creases here and let's switch to a clean side and let's use the powder to set the under eye. This one is a little bit harder to hold. Oh, poked myself almost in there. Oh, I really like it. Ooh, I really like how this filled in my pores. Though I have to say that the Blended Full applied the concealer a little bit better. Guys, even the camera is working against me. It just stops filming all the time. I don't know what's wrong. I just realized also that this is flaky, this side. I don't know if it has to do because it was dragging down the foundation or why, but I can't see it on this side though. But on this side, it's totally flaky. Interesting, but I do really like how this makeup race apply the powder under my under my eyes. But I'm not going to set around the rest of the face because we are going to try this contour from Huda Beauty. I have the light one here, and we are going to contour and bronze our face with this. So let's switch it to the wet side, and I'm going to actually take this side and just. I know. Try to do like I always do. I love this product. One of my favorite products from Huda Beauty. I usually like to use the brush to blend this product. But Tati said we can use this, so let's use it. Not bad. But the problem is I can see uh, this, these, uh, what it's called, material a little bit on my face. I know she said this will go away the first time you wash it. That's the only issue I have right now. I have some dots, this residue of that uh, leftover on the nose. I don't like it. I do like it for this product. It blends it perfectly and smooth. But let's go in with this, our makeup remover pad and let's try this one. It's already grabbing the product a little bit too much. I'm going to dot a little bit back on my hand because I feel like it grabbed uh, more product.
what to say it doesn't look bad maybe a little bit patchy on my forehead but it doesn't look bad i mean i i know guys guys let me know down below if you can see patchiness more than i can but right now it doesn't look so bad and this is just for fun i'm making this video just for fun to see i was kind of curious to see and compare i do like tati beauty products her vitamins her patch the palette the one that i've used a lot these couple of weeks i do like her products uh, i just wanted to do a little bit different video okay so let's set the whole face now let's go in and set the rest of the face how i like to go in We can totally make this work with a makeup remover. When I compare my skin, I did went with the foundation um, a little bit over this one because it, this made the foundation a little bit patchy, but everything else looks very nice and smooth so far. So I'm liking it. Okay, let's go in with the bronzer. I'm going to use this bronzer and bronze up the face. See Tati go in with the bronzer. Oh, I like it. I like it for applying the powders. And I love using a lot of bronzer. I'm guilty for going in a little bit hard on the bronzer. Ooh, so smooth. I really like this. Let's go in and use the bronzer for this side. Hmm. Interested? Try to squeeze it like this. I don't know. Feels like it didn't apply the bronzer as even as the blender full we want a little bit on the other side feel like this applied a little bit too much bronzer and it's not blending it as nicely as the blender full I don't know. I don't like this using for the bronzer. Let's go in with the blush. We're going to go, go in with this blush. This is blending powders very nice. Better than the brush. Let's switch the side and see how this one is going to apply the bl brush, blush. I don't mind how this one applied the blush either. I think this one is a little bit harder to use to blend seamlessly, but it's not bad. Not bad. I feel like this side has more blush, so I'm going to go in and just make it even. Oh, I like it so far. Let's go with the highlighter. I'm going to use Jaclyn Hill palette, the flash. And I'm going to use this highlighter. I know she uses the smaller one. To apply the highlighter but I am not going to do so oh 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 too much let's um switch aside and try to blend it a little bit well I applied it a little bit too much 
but it's nice nice too much but nice let's go in and try <laughs> this one the problem with this one is that I have long nails and when I hold it like this I feel like my nail is scratching the product so definitely not applying as much as well there you go flux a little bit everywhere though blender full applied too much it just kept it on one uh, this one is blending it a little bit everywhere but it worked not perfectly but it worked I really like how this Blendiful applied my um, Blendiful applied my makeup. Everything like, looks very nice and smooth, and I really, really enjoy, really enjoy this. I'm definitely going to continue playing with it. I'm not happy about the nose here; it's a little bit dry, but maybe because I didn't maybe blend the primer perfectly. I don't know. I'm going to try it a little bit more. This side doesn't look bad, but it needs more time to work with. So if you don't have any brush, you forgot all of your brushes, you don't have Blendiful, you're in a hurry, the only thing you can find is a makeup eraser. I don't... I mean, it looks nice. You need to work a little bit more with the foundation. Maybe it will go better with a creamier foundation, but I mean, doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. That's all. I'm going to end this video now, guys. I kind of, I really like this product. I'm definitely going to continue playing with it and see um, better techniques, how to use it. But uh, so far, I'm really, really liking the results. Uh, Tati did an amazing job with these products. I really, really like her. And that's everything. Please let me know what you think about this product. Are you curious to know to hear more, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.